Yo guys, it's your boy Andre Nurgum the Cam from the game Azure Lane. Today I'm going to explain to you what the heck you are supposed to do with hard mode maps, where to get them, why you should do them, and what kind of rewards you can go and get from them. So let's go and hop right into it. So first off you want to know about hard mode maps is obviously where you can find them. So to go and find the hard mode maps you would want to click battle. And then after that, you see this bottom left hand corner, the word hard appears. So hard mode maps are only going to appear available once you complete the actual map on the normal difficulty. But when you do, you are going to be greeted with the same exact interface. It's just that it's going to look a little bit scarier, maybe. So, so far the hard mode maps only go up to chapter 8, but in the future there is going to be more. So. Hard mode maps basically are the same exact thing as the normal map, except there are a few things. The people are a lot harder, and there are also a lot of fleet requirements, which you must fulfill or else you cannot do the actual hard map. When you actually do the hard mode map, you're going to get two really good main rewards. You're going to get core data and blueprints. The first, core data, this thing right here, is going to be used back here when you click shop, munitions, and then core data. From here you can spend this core data on all of these different things. If you want to go and know like what you should spend it on, check out my other core data shop guide. It's only a minute long, it's not going to take that much time. So then the second would be blueprints. Blueprints you can get from the hard mode maps. Each one gets you a different blueprint so stage one would get you destroyer blueprints stage two and every single thing would go and be cruiser blueprints stage three would be battleship blueprints and stage four would be the carrier retrofit blueprint this is the same exact layout on every single one of these chapters so one will always give you destroyer blueprints and stuff so then this is how you're going to do this so depending on whatever blueprint you want and let me go and explain what blueprints are really quickly so blueprints are used to go and retrofit your person. You are going to need to retrofit your people to go and make them a lot stronger. And you can find them in this tab right here on the very top. Not every single boat has a retrofit. Like for example, Hyuga has a retrofit as you can see by this tab right here. But some people like Akagi for example would not have a retrofit because you do not see the actual tab right here. So basically you would need these blueprints to go and fulfill these retrofit requirements. As you can see right here if you click one of these you would need some purple blueprints, some gold blueprints, some blue blueprints. So basically this is where you get, and get these um, blueprints from the hard mode. So when you're going on hard mode it's going to be the exact same thing. You're going to have to go and fight a couple of uh, trash fleets and then you're going to have to go and beat the boss fleet. You will only get core data and blueprints from the boss fleet so make sure that you complete the map. Once you go and complete the map enough times and then your threat level is safe, this is basically when you literally complete it maybe 10 or 15 times and you get it 3 stars. So basically this threat level is going to be safe and then some cool thing about hard mode is that there's a clearing mode in this bottom right hand corner and that will basically allow you to skip all the trash fleets and then move on straight to the boss fleet here I'll show you so you would click go and instead of having to fight all these other mobs you get directly access the boss fleet in which you can go and fight and then beat so I'll show you this right now as long as I don't get ambushed right here of course so let me try this again anyway so you go here click go and hopefully if I'm a little bit more lucky this time I'm not gonna get ambushed by a thing and then have to fight it. Okay airstrike that's fine click it and then after that let's click battle and let's go and finish this real quick hmm, formidable very good ship number one aircraft carrier right now so let's go and beat this boss huh well I'm just gonna go and auto it
yeah. So once you beat the boss, you're just gonna get your blueprints and your core data and stuff. That's formidable right there. She's got a ton of torpedo bombers. That's John Bart, if you want to know anything. So moving on to the boss, uh, in this case it's Ikazuchi. I'm farming stage A2 because it gives me the most core data and also gives me the chance to get gold blueprints as well as giving me the chance of dropping Ikazuchi and since I already have her I don't really need to go and get any more copies of her but it doesn't matter anyway. I'm just doing this because I get the most core data from it. Now I should be wrapping stuff up right here. Nagato's got her barrage. Yep, check out this barrage guys. <laughs> Oh, if Jean Bart doesn't kill. Oh, there we go. Nagato's great sh a great ship. So perfect. You're going to see that we're rewarded with core data right here and cruiser blueprints. Now with these core data and blueprint stuff, as I told you already, you only get three tries per day, so be mindful of that. So with these things, you can go and move back and then do exactly what I told you earlier. And then there's actually a mission, oh, not this one, but there's a mission somewhere, I already completed it so I can't show you. There's a mission where you can get extra core data by doing these hard mode missions every day. So make sure that you're doing these every single day, because you get three attempts per day, and you're going to want as many blueprints as you want, because retrofitting a person takes a lot of blueprints and a lot of time, so you better get started as early as possible. Alright, that's all for this video, see you later. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you around. Bye!